a very good morning to all of you here i am going to start a new topic of physics and that is force and laws of motion in the pre previous chapter we described the motion of an object along a straight line in terms of its position velocity and acceleration there we saw that such a motion can be uniform or non uniform we have not yet discovered what causes the motion or why does the speed of an object changes with time or do all motions requires a cause if so what is the nature of this cow in this chapter we shall make an attempt to all these questions for many century the problem of motion and its causes had puzzled scientists as well as philosophers now observe figure 9.1 here in our everyday life we observe that some effort is required to put a stationary object into motion or to stop a moving object as it is shown in the figure here the concept of force is based on this push hit or pull in fact no one has seen tested or felt a force however we always see or feel the effect of a force it can only be explained by describing what happens when a force is applied to an object pushing hitting and pulling of object are all ways of bringing objects in motion they move because we make a force act on them now observe figure 9.2 given here from your studies in earlier classes you are also familiar with the fact that a force can be used to change the magnitude of velocity of an object that is what i mean to say to make the object move faster or slower or to change its direction of motion we also know that a force can change the shape and size of the object as it is shown here so now after this discussion from the situations given in figure 1 that is 9.1 and figure 9.2 we are in position to define force so here is the definition of force a force is a physical quantity which causes or tends to cause a motion in an object at rest or changes or tends to change the direction of motion of a moving object or changes or tends to change the size and the shape of an object or changes or tends to change the speed of an object force is denoted by capital f and it is very important to note here force is a vector quantity that is it has both direction as well as magnitude and the si unit to measure force is newton denoted by capital n now let us summarize the effects of force which is done here for you force can change the state of rest or the motion of an object second effect force can change the size of the object third one force can change the shape of the object fourth one force can change the speed of the object 
and the fifth force can change the direction of motion of an object. Please make a proper note of what I have discussed today. Thank you.